up guys yes we have to use a ladder to get on the top of the truck uh, we're gonna be installing the solar panel the hood solar panel from Lensu solar in our truck uh, this panel here it take for a while to show up because they was doing some uh, measurements sorry for the ladder always making some noise the aluminum uh, this one here it was um, I don't gonna say it's custom because it's, a re uh, it's already available for purchase from Lensu but they do ask me for the measurement of my truck because um, they don't they don't have anything for 2500 uh, Silverados I don't know if because they changed between the years I don't think so I believe a couple years it's already have been on the market but uh, yes in today's video I'm gonna show you how easy it is to install this one here as soon as you get the package uh, you will get the panel you will get uh, two big rolls of double side tape that I, I used it already and you will get the um, the decal or the sticker that is going to be under the panel. On my case, I'm not, I'm not using anything because I already have the wrap on the truck. Uh, we are going to need a blue tape, tape measurement, and the panel controller. First thing that we are going to do is measure again because I removed my panel and it was already all the measurements already. I just jump on the camera and I forgot that I already got all the measurement on the hood okay let me let me show you something first because i was i already started the project before i start recording and i said you know what let me start recording let me show you to you guys how easy to install this two of the rolls actually i mean one roll and a little bit more and i have some when i start with the gorilla i forgot that the lens of solar come already with everything but yes they come already with a double side tape they don't have to be a specific i already have one before and i use the same pattern that my last time that mean i just try to follow the the same one what i choose like this because i try to get as much as i can from the edge on both sides to prevent water instruction do i did the same on the bottom to prevent water instruction and air on the bottom as well and then i just start to play to try to fill all the all the spaces here this panel here is a 92 wax that means we're gonna have a 92 wax pumping solar uh, energy onto my dual battery system i'm gonna be charging my secondary battery with this panel that means when we have when we pass all the night using our rock lights or any of the uh, halo lights from this ones it's gonna be using my secondary battery and then during the morning it can be charging back again and i don't have to turn on my truck for any reason let me just take some measurement here. We are gonna try to put the panel as much as we can on the edge, on the top, not too much because we don't have that lead exposes over there. On the top part, we don't want nothing to expose and make the dirt coming through the panel or the air pushing the panel up. And after we have here, I'm gonna take my tape measurement. I'm gonna try to find lines as a guidelines. Let's say on my truck, we have these lines here on the hood and other lines we have plastics over there and we have this one that means we can take that one as a center point or as a reference point to start to take measurement and place this panel as, cent as much centers as you can as soon as we have all the measurements and everything is online everything is perfect i start to place uh, the blue tape let me sh let me show you or let me explain you why i'm doing this way first first one I'm gonna place a strip all the way on the bottom that way I know uh, where my line or, or my imaginary line is gonna be a start to center the panel and I also I place two more and each one next to the, the solar panel you can see here that I don't went all the way up and all the way up I just need like a slightly reference but the main one is this one just place this tape here I don't care it's on the center of the tape you don't have to care if the line is centered nothing you can place it here as much as in the center as you can but you don't have to take any measurement here this one will it will be your your main and your first guideline 
we are when as soon as we remove the double side tape uh, the second layer we are going to be sticking the panel there but we are going to be trying to center as much as we can this line to have them both together i use uh, i just use a sharpie to uh, mark this one and also uh, we use using blue tape because the blue tape helps to don't damage your paint or don't peel out uh, your wrap okay now we already have everything measurement on the hood everything is finished there we uh, took the solar panel we placed it here now we are going to proceed to remove the secondary layer of the uh, the double side tape you know we removed the first one to stick the uh, double side tape under the panel now we are going to be removing this one and we are going to have we are gonna have to need to have very careful in this step because we don't wanna peel the double side tape from the solar panel. Remember, I make a little pressure for now to have everything online, but it will be on the final step when we place the solar panel over there, when we need to start pushing hard to make all the double side tape to stick on the hood. Let's remove this one, and then we are gonna install that one there to after that install the uh, the solar panel controller that is this one and it's very very easy to install i'm just doing the, this video as a guy reference for you guys some of you guys always ask me hey carlos can you please make a videos when you install parts on the truck and i'm going to show you how to do that one Okay, we already have all the double side tape peel out. We throw everything there, it's gonna be on the garbage, but uh, let me take a time here on the video to show you something. This one here is our Bodega Cooler. This one is, uh, Bodega Coolers is one of the sponsors of our channel. They support our adventures, they support our channel, they support the truck, but in this time, they support our garage as well. And they send you a big 12.5 cubic feet cooler. I love it, it's a big size. We sometimes we place food here, that's why you see this one empty here. And right now I need to restock any of this string. They sponsor our channel, any of this string, they collaborate with us. But well, they got coolers that are amazing. Go and take a look at the, at the website and all the cooler size that they have. It's low consumption, it's perfect, I love it. Let's just keep doing here with the, um, the solar panel. We already have everything peeled out. Now we, it's time to grab the solar panel and stick that baby on that truck. Okay, now we're gonna place the solar panel on place here. We are gonna grab it from the sides and then this is the quiet time. As soon as we have our mark here is aligned, now we're gonna go to the size. We're gonna play a little bit. Don't stick the solar panel. I don't know if you can see on the video, but I'm lifting the panel from the top. Yep, we have both sides. We have everything ready here. Everything is on play, and now we can drop the panel. We are gonna place the hand all the way in the middle, all the way to the top and then going to outside. It's easy. We trust in our guidelines as the beginning. Now we pass our hand all the way out on the solar panel and try to make every single area make a slightly press to the bottom. As soon as everything is a stick, you can remove the blue tape. You can notice that nothing get damaged, nothing get damaged on the wrap, nothing get damaged on the solar panel. Okay, now the easy part, the one that you think is the most complicated, I think this is the easiest one because in this one you don't have to be, or you don't have to have skills to be careful to install the solar panel. You can notice that the solar panel comes with two wires, I mean with two connectors, that right here we have positive and negative. We, it's just plug and play, we are not gonna mess with this, it's so easy, you're gonna make any mistake. You're gonna connect this one's here, and the light controller, we are gonna connect this one to the battery of your truck, just to the battery that you are gonna give the load uh, from the solar panel, can be for the battery of your truck, or can be as a lithium battery, if you have uh, one of the lithium batteries on your truck and you would like to use that solar panel, you will need to run this one all the way to the back. But we don't recommend that because 
I mean, you will be spending so much wire and everything. I would recommend you to get a different uh, solar panel to install it on your uh, roof rack or on your bed track, on any area of the truck, and try to use the one from the hood from them specifically for the main battery of the truck or your secondary battery on the truck. Well, this two here we are gonna use place tape you probably will be wondering uh, I believe and I'm 99% of this I just gonna make any mistake but this one here is when you have another uh, display controller on the truck if I make a mistake please correct me on the comments but I I'm, I'm I believe that those are for that when you have a display that you would like to see uh, the watts and all the information when you are getting the power from the Sun it's this one here that's why we are gonna place tape on this one we are going to connect these two with the positive and negative of your let me see here to the positive and negative of your battery this one to the solar panel and we are going to uh, we are going to download the app to control this one here you don't have to do nothing you don't have to do any setup the app is only going to be for uh, keep tracking or to see the information of the how many watts you are getting from the sun and how many watts you are pulling to your battery but it's nothing that you need to do any configuration uh, you don't have to set up everything if you don't allow the app uh, you can just install this install the panel and you're um, the panel and you are good to go to start enjoying your new panel let me install everything and i think so we are ready to go okay as soon we pop the hood we install our fender cover by viper this one was made just for nito pick group member we just need us they sponsor our truck they sponsor our bills our previous field and we are still rocking needles right now i have the 38 13 and a half by uh, 17 these ones are the trail grappler these tires have like a I think so 10,000 miles my truck only have 14,000 miles uh, but those are bye bye we just place another uh, request to upgrade the tires to a 40s because every time when I see the truck truck look I mean those tires look small on the truck that's the reason why I just place the order for the 40s that means on our next videos you will be new photos for the truck with the 40s let's just keep working here now we are gonna guide the wire from the um, from the solar panel we are gonna use uh, zip ties to have the water the, the wire all the way here to the battery this is my secondary battery and we have here my, ba uh, my main battery we charge this uh, secondary battery with the uh, you see the control right there by radar this is the one I control and send the juice all the way here to our secondary battery where we have our aux pin controller that we control all the uh, off-road lights and the uh, winch from the truck everything else on the truck is controlled by radar we have the the radar red vision on the back of the truck with the uh, xp on batteries and lithium let me show you here if you are new on the channel we have right here, this is our, it's a 100% because it's charging by solar. And this is our uh, lithium battery system with our uh, Goose Gear Read Delete system. And we have here our massive lithium batteries by XP on 360 batteries. We have 480 ampere hours of uh, power. Oh, let me use it with one hand. Boom, this is the Goose Gear full like a hundred percent rear seat delete we have built right industries are awesome this is the molly panels in the back of the truck and we have here the rack system control everything keep the fridge on 24 7 this ice cold freeze uh fridge are awesome let me just keep going on the truck i always try to show up stuff and accessories because probably you can miss in any other videos and i try to you you know give some show up of the accessories that we that we use let me just keep working on the solar panel i i promise we are gonna be ended out uh, this video soon okay now we have everything is hooked up to the battery i'm just making sure here maybe tomorrow we can uh double check again but i'm uh, 
this thing is not going anywhere i would i would recommend to install this one in the afternoon or early in the morning that way the hood is not hot and you're not going to have any trouble sticking the uh, solar panel here let me just pull up my phone i already have everything here you will need to uh download the app that i don't know if you can see it here best this one here uh it's solar life okay that one there and then we are gonna uh, find which one is our uh, solar life panel. It will just right here. Right now it's pulling like a 2.4, two watts only. This one is definitely exciting. Probably you can see it more bright on the camera, but it's uh, 7.20 p.m. right now. And uh, yeah, this one might uh, vary. I can need to, uh, you know, post some more information on my social media. But, for those of you guys that always follow me on my channel, uh, I'm gonna be posting some updates on this and how is everything set up. Okay, I think so that is all. I already show you, I already have my radar as well for the battery that I can just check and make sure the panel is working, but it's so easy, you only have to uh, attach it to the positive, negative, to all the steps that I, you already see on this video. If you have any question, I try to be, this the most account I can uh, to share with you guys my experience installing the uh, solar panel from Lensu Solar. If you have any question, feel free to drop a comment on this video below. My name is Carlo from Inciarte 4x4, and this is my truck. It's a 2025 Chevy Silverado. It's completely decked out for uh, Overland. I'm so excited that I'm gonna receive my 40s and see you guys on our next trip. Next weekend is the, uh, it's the next holiday. I don't know where we are going, but definitely we are gonna be in two weeks in Overland of America and Jay, Oklahoma, if you wanna see the truck in person. Thank you guys and hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comment if you like it. If you are new on the channel, go and check more videos from my truck, some of the trips, some of the product reviews. If you like the video, Sam Carlos, and give me that follow and that's smash that like button thank you guys and stay tuned for our next video